I'm preparing for a horror game jam, so I wrote a PSX-like third-person character controller with tank controls, meaning you use the forward button to walk forward, and the left and right button to turn the character. The character model is a free asset, and the animations I use are from Mixamo. Here's how my player scene looks. It's a character body. Its first child object is the 3D model itself. It contains the skeleton rig and the animation player, with a walking and an idle animation. I have this node called forward, which is just a node 3D, a position in space, which tells us where's forward compared to the player. Then I have these three raycasts, which check if the player is colliding with a wall. In the player script, I have an enum with two states, these are only for the animations. Then I have a reference to my animation player. And a variable called current state, which is our current animation state from the enum. Its value can be walk or idle. Then we have a speed variable, a reference to our 3D position called forward, and a reference to our three raycasts. You can put them in an array if you want, especially if you use more raycasts for more accurate detection. I have these five controls set up, WASD in the shift key. If we press A, we add sensitivity times delta to our rotation degrees. Y. Or in short, we rotate the player to the left. My sensitivity value is in my autoload script, because it's easier to modify from a possible settings menu, but I could just declare it here and use that instead. If we press D, we subtract sensitivity times delta from the rotation degrees. Y, so we rotate it in the opposite direction. If we press W, we also check if none of the raycasts are colliding. As I said, it might be easier to do it in an array with a loop. Anyway, if all of these statements are true, we lerp our global position towards the forward node's global position by speed times delta. We also set our current state to walk. Else, we set it to idle. If we press shift, we set the player's speed to a higher value, along with the animation player's speed, else we set them back to their original value. Then I check if my current state is idle or walk with a match statement, and play the corresponding animation. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, and wishlist my game on Steam. An improved demo will be available on the Steam Next Fest. Bye!